The Schottenstein Chabad House, OSU Hillel, and roughly 200 students came together Wednesday evening outside Thompson Library for Dispel Darkness with Light, a candlelight vigil held to honor and mourn the lives lost in the latest Israel-Hamas war. I mean, I think the message we're trying to send today is the Ohio State Jewish community is mourning, um, but that doesn't mean we're not strong. Um, we're here today because we want to show that we are united as a community and we're healing. Um, and healing's not an easy thing to do, um, but it's easier when we stand together. The event featured speakers giving words of comfort, promoting further advocacy, and reading sacred prayers of healing and for those that have passed. The event concluded with a walk around Mirror Lake with participants holding flyers showcasing those still missing after Hamas's initial attack and kidnappings on October 7th. I want to empower the Jewish students at Ohio State University to use their voices loud and proud because there are so many voices out there that are going to try to silence us, try to make us feel afraid, try to make us feel like we should be backed into a corner of some sorts. But now more than ever is the time to be openly proud and to share the light of Judaism with others around us and to show that we, we do want peace. We do want people to feel like they have a community. We want the Jews at Ohio State to feel to know that we are representatives of peace and hope and light. Steed said the Israel-Hamas war has significantly impacted his life and those in the Jewish community, as many have close ties with those living through the conflict overseas. I have people that are some of my best friends um, that have been called up from the reserves and are currently serving in the IDF, um, and not a day goes by where they're just like not in the back of my mind. Um, you're in class, you have your computer on, like, up and everybody around you is taking notes and you're just on like CNN checking live updates, checking names, um, checking all the resources we have. Um, there's only so much we can do, um, but as a community we're trying to do as much as we can um, to really ease some of the daily stress. This has been Nathan Mader with The Lantern.